Here's how to connect your headset to a Windows 10 or 11 computer. You'll start by plugging it into the computer and you have two types of connections, either USB-A or USB-C. Now there's also a converter that can take USB-A to USB-C so that you can plug it into the ports your computer actually has. If you're using a Bluetooth headset, I'll have instructions on that later in this video. Then you're gonna search for sound settings on your computer, select that, and on your input and output devices, you're going to select your headset as your input and output device so that all of your default audio will go through your headset. To use your headset on Zoom or Teams, you'll go to the settings, click on audio, and make sure that your microphone and speakers is set to the headset you're trying to use. If your headset is still not working after this, what you can try to do is reboot your computer as that solves a ton of problems. And step two is you can try a different USB port. If you're using a docking station, you can plug directly into your computer as sometimes the docking station causes issues. If you have a spare headset handy, you can try plugging that in to see if your headset is defective. Other than that, you can also check your sound settings at the bottom right of your tray. You'll see a speaker icon. You can click on that. If there is a X next to the speaker, that means your speakers are actually muted. You can toggle that uh, speaker icon on or off and that will mute or unmute your speakers. To test if your microphone is working, we actually have a free tool on our website. You can go to headsetadvisor.com forward slash mic test. You'll be able to select your microphone and test it and you'll see the wavelengths. If you're not sure which option is your headset, you can just click through the different options until you find the one that works. Make sure your Windows computer is fully up to date. You can search for update and then you'll check for updates to make sure that you have the latest software and drive. If your headset brand is something like Poly, Jabra, Epos, or Yealink, there are free softwares you can download with each of those brands to make sure the headset is fully up to date and working properly. Now, if you have a Bluetooth headset, there are two ways to connect it to your computer. One is using the included USB dongle that a lot of professional grade headsets have that you'll plug into the computer, or the second is via Bluetooth directly to the computer. Now, connecting it with the dongle, you'll typically have to download the software that comes with that brand. So for example, Jobber, you're gonna download the Jobber Direct software, plug in the USB dongle into the computer, then you're going to launch the Jobber Direct software and go to the pairing tab. Then you'll put the headset into pairing mode by pushing the power button down towards the Bluetooth icon for about three to five seconds until you see the LED light start to flash and go back to Jobber Direct and hit the search button in order to select the Jobber headset to pair up to the dongle. The second method is to pair the headset directly to the computer. So you'll locate the power or pairing button. And in this case, you'll push the pairing button down towards the Bluetooth icon for about three to five seconds. You'll see an LED light start to flash. This lets you know that the headset is now in pairing mode. Then you'll go to your computer, search for Bluetooth, go to the Bluetooth settings and then add device you'll select Bluetooth, then you'll see a list of headsets you can select and you'll select your headset from this list and wait for it to be connected. After it's connected, you'll follow the instructions earlier in this video, just as if it were a wired headset to make it work properly with all of your apps. Real quick, if you're looking for more microphone noise cancellation, we just released a noise canceling software called Neep, which uses AI to remove unwanted background noise, works with just about any headset it's an app you download on your computer. So if you're working in an office, have chatty coworkers, or you work from home and have dogs or kids making a lot of noise, it will remove that from your calls and meetings. You can try it for free by going to neep.com. If you have any other issues or need help getting set up, drop a comment. We will look at those and try to help you out as best as we can. Thanks a lot for watching. If you want to see that Neep noise canceling software, we did a full in-depth review video right up here, tested against all sorts of noises. Well, that's all I got for you on this one. We will see you on the next one.